Hello, and welcome to Simple Interest. My name is Tuesday J. Johnson. I'm a lecturer at the University of Texas El Paso and an assistant professor at Doniana Community College. So let's start with some definitions. First of all, the simple interest on an investment or a loan of PV dollars at an annual interest rate of R for a period of T years is INT equals PV times R times T. Now keep in mind this PV is a single variable. This is present value. So it's the amount that we invested, or the present value of the investment, multiplied by the rate, multiplied by the time, always time in years, will give us our simple interest. The future value of an investment of PV dollars at an annual simple interest rate of R for a period of T years is the present value plus the interest. And if we substitute our formula for the interest, we can factor out the PV and have the formula FV equals PV times 1 plus RT. We can also divide both sides by the uh, quantity in parentheses in order to solve for PV. So we'll look at examples finding simple interest, finding the future value under simple interest, or even finding the present value uh, if we're given a future amount under simple interest. So compute the simple interest and find the future value. $2,000 is invested for 10 years at 4% per year. So our present value is the $2,000 that is invested. T is 10 years. Interest rate 4%. We always use a decimal in order to calculate values. The percentage is nice, but we use the decimal value in the math. The interest is PV times R times T, so 2,000 times 0 0.04 times 10. And you can do that mentally if you prefer, or you could just put it all in the calculator. You get $800 of interest. So our future value is the 2000 that we invested plus the 800 interest for a total of $2,800 future value as simple interest. If $1,000 is invested for six months at 5% per year, then our PV, our present value, is the thousand dollars invested six months we have to convert into amount of a year so six months is half of a year six over 12 always if given in the number of months divide by 12 to get the part of a year r is five percent also 0 0.05 put it into decimal form my interest will be 1000 times a half times 0 0.05 half of a thousand is 500 500 times 0 0.05 will be an interest accumulated of $25 at simple interest. And the future value is then the 1000 plus the 25 to get $1,025. If 10000 is invested for three months at 11% per year, we'll have a present value of 10000 Three months is three twelfths or a quarter of a year. And my R value is 11%, also known as 0.11. Give it a shot. See how you do. All right. Did you put the interest is 10,000 times 0.25 times 0.11? All right. 11% is 0.11. When you multiply this all together, you get $275 for a total future value of the 10,000. Uh, initial investment plus the $275 interest, $10,275. Now let's find the present value. We know an investment earns 2% per year and is worth $10,000 after 5 years. The time is 5, 5 years. Our interest rate 2%, 0.02 is worth after five years tells us we have a future value so the future value is ten thousand we're going to use the future value formula solved for present value to get pv equals ten thousand over it already had the parentheses with it so i leave it one plus point zero two times five and i enter it in my calculator exactly like this parentheses and all to get nine thousand ninety dollars and it'll round to ninety one cents present value An investment earns 7% per year and is worth 1000 after 6 months. 
So is worth a thousand, so my future value is a thousand dollars. My interest rate seven percent per year. It's simple annual interest rate, seven percent point zero seven. T equals six months, which is half of a year. Input the values I know, future value divided by parentheses, one plus R times T, and we'll end up with a present value of $966.18. What this means is you have to have $966.18 if you're going to put it into an account at 7%, uh, simple annual interest for six months and you want a thousand dollars after that six months so you have to have almost all the money already it's a not a very good savings plan gotta say an investment earns six percent per year and is worth thirty thousand dollars after twenty months so my future value is worth thirty thousand my interest rate six percent is point oh six my time twenty months to turn it into a part of a year 20 over 12 because there are 12 months in a year and I reduce my fraction to make that five-thirds I'm not going to use the decimal approximation of five-thirds since my calculator is going to be doing this entire uh, calculation anyway I'm gonna leave it as the exact fraction because if I round too much here it'll give me an answer that is off in the end so never round until the very last step so we'll have 30,000 divided by parentheses 1 plus the interest rate, 0 0.06, times time, 5 thirds. Close your parentheses twice, and we'll have $27,272.73. If the simple interest on a $1,000 loan at 8% per year amounted to $640, we can find when the loan matured. Now that means, uh, how much time did you have the loan for? A thousand dollar loan, so my present value is a thousand dollars. Eight percent per year, so interest rate eight percent point zero eight. Simple interest, so the six hundred and forty is the amount of interest. As soon as I see when did here in our question, I know that I need to find the T value. So interest six forty equals P V, which is one thousand, times R point zero eight times T. When you're solving an equation like this, we'll completely simplify the left side. Well, 640, there's nothing to simplify. Then completely simplify the right side. 1,000 times 0 0.08 times t gives me 80t. Once I have 80t equals 640, I can divide both sides by 80. 640 divided by 80 will give me 8. So my time is 8 years, the amount of time it took for the loan to mature. Right, so simplify the right-hand side first, and then divide to isolate your variable. You take out a two-year $5,000 loan at 9% simple annual interest. That first sentence tells me my present value is $5,000. That's the amount of the loan. My time is two years. My interest rate is 9%. Okay, second sentence. The lender charges you a $100 fee. Fee hundred dollars uh, thinking of the fee as additional interest what is the actual annual interest you will pay if you have all your values listed already right PV RT I can find the interest rate from the loan itself so let's do that let's find the actual interest rate now interest is PV times R times T so 5,000 times 0 0.09 times 2 that happens to be nine hundred dollars but thinking of the fee as additional interest, $900, add the fee to get a total interest payment of $1,000. Thinking of the fee as interest. So now we've paid $1,000 of interest. We could find the new rate. If the interest was $1,000 on a loan of $5,000, we want to find the interest rate that's actually happening over the course of two years. 5,000 times 2 on the right gives us 10,000 R. Divide both sides by 10,000. My R value will be 0.1. And when I put that into percentage, so I can uh, report the interest rate, I'll have 10%. So 0.1, that's like a dime, 10%. So a two-year $5,000 loan at 9% simple annual interest has an interest rate of 9%. 
But if there's a fee on top of it, we could think of it as, well, what's the interest rate we're really paying? If we think of the fee as part of interest, this particular loan would then be a 10% simple annual interest. That's it for simple interest. Don't take the simple to mean easy. You can let it be easy when possible, but simple just means we're not using any exponents. Thanks for listening.